questions so far? Uh, Sir? I don't know if this is off topic and if, if it is. I don't know. To answer, but in order to uh, uh, succeed at that movement, wouldn't you want to move back to get more data before you could make a good decision? Would that be a proper way to counter what you were uh, supposedly going to do? Because if you weren't sure, I'd move back. I mean, I'm talking for myself, obviously. I would move back to observe more before I could, you know, <clears throat> get to the rest of the rest of the, the uh, alphabet. Come here again. How we observe, how we observe, is one of the most crucial things. There is a saying, and I don't have any idea where it comes from, who originated it, that fear and evil enter to our eyes. I'm going to ask you to do me a huge favor. You're going to, you're going to be given a great opportunity to punch a Russian in, in his head. <laughs> okay? Uh, I'm, I'm pretty good looking, so don't punch me here. Right here, in my forehead, okay? Mm -hmm. You're going to do it with your right hand, and uh, you don't need to do anything, and I will not retaliate. Okay. There will be no pain involved. <laughs> It's an, important, it's an important thing usually to point out, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> because people go, oh, fuck. <laughs> here we go. Start from here, that way you don't have to wind up, nothing, you're ready to go. And, you know, I'll tell you, and then whatever time it is, not too hard, not too fast, that way I don't end up over there. Okay? <laughs> Just do it, right? Yep. Anytime? Yeah. Why didn't you hit me? Because you distracted me by moving your hand. Okay, have a seat. What are the factors involved with the human eye reacts to? You don't need to think about it, your eye simply reacts to it. Okay. Movement. Okay. So in his eye view was what? Static target, knows exactly where it is, it's not doing anything. What do you think you would be, besides the movement, what would be the second factor that your eye recognizes? If there's a movement here and there's a movement in the back of the room here, which one I will be drawn to? Proximity. So when his fist is moving, his eyes are watching. All of a sudden, there was this static target, closer and mobile moving target. It heat seeks. He doesn't have to think about it. It simply heat seeks my hand. Okay? This is not a trick. This is not magic. This has nothing to do with anything else. What's that? Uh, peripheral vision. <coughs> we'll discuss that. <coughs> I apologize. Yeah. yeah. When we start focusing on something, and in the gunfight, in a lot of our training, what is the mantra you're constantly being told or repeating to yourself? Focus, focus. What does the focus mean to you? Tunnel vision becomes tunnel thinking. Okay. They, they, they are interrelated. I mentioned earlier, eyes are the gateway through which fear and evil enter. It truly is that way. When we look at things, and not just physically what is happening, okay? uh, vision can be examined, this is a very separate topic, but vision can be examined in many ways. Uh, the magnitude of movement, the, the, the proximity, how quickly that proximity changes. Then there are other interesting things that we've done in Mother Russia as far as the way, the way colors are memorable, which colors are the most memorable, okay? Because certain colors and certain other things made people forget faces, the heights, sometimes even gender of the person who did certain action. Objectivity is something that is only possible if you learn to truly, truly, truly appreciate the most important part in training that we don't attend to, which is the first O of ODA cycle. Learn to observe. Learn to watch. I always find myself kind of surprised 
when I sometimes, you know, I, I would come to a range or a training facility where my friends teach and all that. You know, just kind of to show support, to say hello, you know, to crack a couple jokes and shit like that, you know. And uh, you come there and there's uh, three guys in the car doing car gun fighting class. And there's 18 guys standing outside and they're socializing. They're talking about this and that and this new gadget that they put on the AR-15 AR and all that stuff. Very few in that group are actually going like, okay, what are they fucking doing? What, are, what are mistakes are they making? Do you know what you're missing? You're missing three other teachers teaching you for the price that you already paid for. It's included. You already invested your time, effort, time away from your loved ones to come here. Why the fuck are we wasting it? But on the range, on the you know, at the class that you paid for, okay? I did a two-day class. No, you did it the maximum a fucking hour and a half class, if that's what you're doing. I'm sorry, guys. I'm sorry to break the news for you, but from the capitalism 101, and this is coming from a fucking commie, okay? You a shitty investor for spending $500 for an hour and a half of learning. It could have been... 12 hours, but it was on you to make it 12 hours. Did you? Take opportunities. Those mistakes that other people make are your extra Pat Max, are your extra Costas, are your extra Tims, Jays that are right there fucking teaching you. It's not how long you train, it's how you use the time that you have in training. It's how you use the time that you have in training. Pay attention to it because it's precious, it's valuable. When you looking at the matrix of uh, gunfighter versus shooter, how do you think you would address that as far as your own self-evaluation? I'm gonna bringing it back to a gunfighter realm because I don't wanna go into a big fighter world. Big fighter world involves a lot. Let's stick to a little bit narrower topic and let's just examine gunfighter versus shooter to a certain degree. How would you evaluate yourself? What would you do? A list of things that we discussed, right, which was somewhere in there, okay? Okay. So, let's say we're evaluating the accuracy, right? Okay. As a shooter, how would you evaluate your accuracy? Pretty damn simple, right? Whatever distance you decided, whatever target you decided, okay? Come out, you work your shit, you evaluate yourself. Whether it's five shots, ten shots, fifty shots, whatever. Okay, you gather up some data, you do it, right? Okay. You know in that one small component where you stand as a shooter, right? Okay. Can it be done as a fighter? Yes. Okay. What components you would add to make it more relevant to fighting? Another question there to go against. Actual well, shit, let's ask the guy in the back. Anthony, what other components were added in the gunfight? There was movement, right? There was movement. On your part and on his. Yes. Decisiveness. Decisiveness. How we can make that drill relevant and revealing to show you something that you could call diagnostics as a fighter. Where do I stand as a fighter? That's where we can put the value. As a shooter, I'm here. As a fighter, you know, as a shooter, I'm here. So let's say as a shooter, you did the score of, let's just take numbers, of uh, 50. And this goes up to 100, okay? So 50 is somewhere here. And then you do a this similar drill with very similar parameters with few things, few components added that are part of a fighting, okay? And you score a measly seven, which you will. Okay, so seven, so 50 would, uh, yeah, so 50 would be somewhere here, 100 would be here, right? So this would be 10, this would be seven. So you find yourself here. How does that look in relationship to hot crazy matrix? That's above the hot crazy line. That's huh? That's way above that fucking crazy line and definitely nowhere near in hotness, right? 
it's not that hard to evaluate yourself where you are as a shooter versus a gunfighter. There's a lot of things that go into gunfighting, okay? To, to win the fight, number one, you got to be competent. You cannot rely on luck. You cannot rely on luck. It will not be on your side. Work on applicable skill that's been tested, pressure tested repeatedly over and fucking over until there is no, I think I can. No, I fucking know. Unequivocally, unquestionably, as a shooters, many of you do. As a gunfighters, how many of you can honestly say that? The training that is outcome-oriented versus performance-oriented, right? Okay, I'm gonna ask you a very simple question. Those of you who were training with me, shut the fuck up again. Everybody's like, why are you so, why are you such a dick? I am. This represents a fight. S stands for start. E stands for end. This is not pre-fight. This is not exchanging smack talk. This is a physical altercation. Regardless, weapons involved, not involved, matters not. What is important in that process between those two letters? Talk to me. The end? The end? Expand on that, please. No matter how you, as long as you win at the end, it doesn't really matter how you had to do it, but you have to win. Okay, anything else? Get to the end as soon as possible. Okay, anything else? I think it's the middle, because the, the action you have in the middle is going to result in the end. I think you're digging somewhere there. Expand on that. Like he said, get to the end as soon as possible. Well, that's that's not good because you can die and get to the end of the fight real fucking fast. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, that's a very keen observation so, on that shit. So, to expand on what he, the other guy said, what you do in the middle is going to determine that end. Dying is the end of the fucking fight for you. Yeah. Everything else so, is mo moot point after that, right? Right. So, you, what you do in the middle is going to determine what kind of end you have. Okay. So, what do you need to focus then? The stuff that's going to make you alive at the end. Be specific. Physical fitness. You got to be fit enough to fight. You got to have the skill sets to, to deal with the fight. Mental mindset. You, you got to have the mindset to deal with the fight. Yeah, you're talking everything that has to happen here way before the fight, way before it started. I'm talking in that process of 3.7 seconds. Get there first or the most. Go ahead, Bill. You have to take in the data. And don't project what you're thinking out and be in the moment and perform in that moment. It should be decisive. Okay, guys, here's the interesting thing. When people started answering this question, and uh, this is not exception at all, actually, this is much less than usual. Everybody's like, it matters to me that I go home and he's hurt them. B, everything is being projected forward towards the outcome, towards where it's going to end. Or thinkers, a lot of thinkers will go like, what needs to be compiled and had and possessed here to be applied in the fight? Okay, But what is it that needs to be happening right the fuck here that delivers you to the magic E? It's kind of like, you know, my goal on the, on the financial end is to have minimum of $5 million so we can buy one farm in Texas and make it into amazing training fucking facility where we cook steak and everybody stays in cabins and, and shit like that and then have similar something in Montana or in Utah. So I need $5 million. <laughs> <laughs> Shit, still short. You see what I'm saying? My outcome, I know what I need my outcome to be. Okay, you need to define what the end is. And the end, I think it's pretty much, the end needs to be in any fight is that uh, you able to go back to your loved ones in a relatively functioning state while your opponent at that time is unwilling and or unable to continue to do you harm. Appropriateness of the situation. You can end a fist fight with a pistol, but you don't 
you don't really win. Guys, let me ask you how many times on the range you heard these words? Breathe. Why it's important? It's the only physiological function in your body you control. You don't control your pulse rate, you don't control your blood pressure, you don't control the epinephrine dump, you don't control a goddamn thing except your breath. That controls all of the above. Okay. How many times on the range you heard the word breathe? <coughs> How many times on the range, especially here, training with tactical response or similarly thinking folks, you heard the word move? That's what you should be doing here. Breathe, move. What else sometimes the shooting instructor will tell you when you all, he will say, relax. That's what you should do. Okay? And there's a little bit more, but in general, I will say, I will call it form or composure. Maintain the equilibrium in here and in here. It is what it is. It's too late to go in your head and go like, I can't believe this shit is happening to me. Which part of fucking 115 grain shit zinging by your head you cannot believe? We're looking for these magical answers. Violence is pretty simple. Violence is chaos. Don't try to put it into a box of your own liking. You will not change the violence. You will only change and limit your understanding of it. That's what the box will do. It will not change the violence. It will change you. It will make you dumber. Because at that point, you take on a fucking common core approach to education. <laughs> Not good. Not good. Other than that, thank you very much. Thanks for being here and enjoy the rest of the day. Thanks for watching. Sunny Puzikas with Forward Training Concepts. Subscribe, follow, share.